Well, we're nine months now after the Bastrop wildfires, and a local charity is uh, doling out a final round of grants. The Central Texas Wildfire Fund raised more than a million dollars, and today the rest of that money was dispersed. KXAN's Brian Sanders tells us who the lucky recipients were. Let's put a piano here. Alver Leal's home was one of 1,700 destroyed in the Bastrop wildfires last September, and he decided to rebuild himself. But the project stalled when he didn't know how or have the money to install the electrical wiring. Just when you're about ready to give up on people, somebody does something like this and it, it restores your faith and, and it helps you move on. The Austin Community Foundation, through their Central Texas Wildfire Fund, came to the rescue, awarding their final round of grants today, totaling $830,000 to organizations helping build homes and restore the environment. The Everest Institute was one of the recipients, providing manpower and know-how. Everest says they, they not only teach their students how to become electricians, they also want them to give back to the community. The Central Texas Wildfire Fund raised more than $1.4 million to help the recovery, distributing the first round last December. But they waited for the most recent round to assess long-term needs for the community. A portion went to students at Bastrop High School. Sometimes that's just a backpack, but sometimes it's help with utilities or medical. Um, we just provide a lot of food and clothing. Part of the healing is emotional. Another part, environmental. The AmeriCorps ECOR group is helping protect against the immediate concern of soil erosion. Today's announcement gave them their second wind. Seeing that there's still money coming in and there's still support uh, is really a validation for me that people are committed to seeing the whole job through. So people like Alver have a place to call home again. Brian Sanders, KXAN News.